As expected in Fargo, North Dakota, the bloated Red River hit its crest of about 37 feet on Sunday, 19 feet above flood stage, but by all indications, beatable. We're still optimistic that it may be at the crest level and hopefully the river will start going down. Larry Chapey lives in Harwood, a town eight miles to the north. His neighborhood looks more like a marshland now. Overland flooding covered many roads, even the interstate causing a traffic jam. Waters have surrounded some homes. These small Minnesota towns look like islands from the air. But the National Weather Service says the Red River is receding, and it reached nowhere the level seen last year, which were four feet higher. Even on the day the Red reached its highest, life appeared to be back to normal in Fargo. The faithful gathering at this Pentecostal church. The feeling this year is much different than a year ago. Uh, we know that we dodged a bullet. We're very relieved, but we're very watchful as well. We know that Mother Nature can throw a curveball at us, so we're not through the woods yet, but the sense is we've made it, we're thankful, and let's have a party. City and county officials think they've placed enough of these protective clay dikes and sandbags around the towns to protect the homeowners from flooding, even with some room to spare. Okay, we had a better organization, we had more time to plan. Mother Nature moved us into the March rather than April, and we had to do a lot of work in a short period of time, but we didn't have to go to the levels we did last year. Those living north and south of Fargo don't get the same level of protection, so most take matters into their own hands. They have no choice. Well, we've constructed this. Yeah, took us a couple of days to get it up and going. But uh, I'm secure in my opinion that it's going to withstand whatever comes with it. Derek Groff built a barrier around his home, which he rebuilt after major damage during last year's flooding. He's not planning on leaving. Why? I love it here. I can't find anything else even comparable to it. And with the weather staying dry, neither is anyone else on his street. John Mo, the Associated Press, Fargo, North Dakota.